think as it stands today, you hit him clean up. Um, I don't think he should. I mean, like he's a fine cleanup hitter. I think when you think about this lineup and this roster construction as he's your cleanup hitter with his durability concerns, I think that's putting a lot of hope into uh, him being a run producer when he's, you know, never like played a hundred games, maybe once. So I think, you know, as things stand right now, I think you hit him clean up. I mean, I would probably go JP Julio. I mean, unfortunately I would probably hit Cal Raleigh third. So that that's kind of what I'm getting to here. What I would like to see the team do is go JP Julio. I'd like to see a Max Kepler or a left-handed run producer to bat third that doesn't strike out as much as a guy like Cal Raleigh. And then I would go either Cal Raleigh or Mitch Garber four. And then I would go, you know, whoever the other one is at, at five and Ty France at six. So this team desperately, desperately still needs another run producing bat um, to get Cal Raleigh out of the run producing spot. That is there in the order. Cal Raleigh should be hitting fifth or sixth and should be a guy that is a kind of a home run or bust type of a player, which is, you know, historically what he's pretty much been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say that I think as it stands, Garver should, you know, it depends on what the, you want the philosophy to be there at the third spot um, or cleanup spot, because for me, right. Garver's getting on base more. Um, he's probably not going to like run produce probably. I, I mean, his OBP is like three, 40 something and i think cal's is like 304 you know around Mm -hmm. there in that range and so whether you want um the guy in the three spot to just kind of be passing the torch um or um or or knocking around the ball uh in terms like cal you have the chance for a home run every time at the plate more so i think than garver where garver's gonna watch pitches go by he's gonna He's going to take his walks. He's going to do that. Whereas Cal's going to strike out or hit a home run kind of guy, kind of like Eugenio Suarez was in that spot last year. Um, And I think so. It just comes down to what you want there philosophically. And then it also comes down to what you want um, protecting Julio, you know, I guess, Um, because that guy, you know, obviously is going to hit after Julio. And if you're a threat to get on base for me, like Mitch Garver more so than Cal Raleigh, um, for me, I, I see that as more important if, if you're going to bat behind Julio because you want Julio to move around the bases. Um, and, and so yeah, you know. I would. I mean, my, I guess my thing would be Garver can hit a fastball like he can hit a fastball. But I think if you are playing a lineup against a right handed pitcher, specifically a pitcher who has a good firm slider. Um, Garver's not really, he's a pull hitter. Like he's a pull and lift hitter. And I think if you put Garver right behind Julio, at least against right-handed pitching, they would rather pitch to Garver and just give him a steady diet of breaking balls and dare him to beat him. Now, if it's a lefty, I think Garver is obviously kind of the third guy that hits behind Julio. And then you put Cal at four or even Ty France at four to keep the conga line going. Um, but I would just, you know, I would look at it like, especially in late inning situations, Mariners down by one or they need an insurance run. I would rather just pitch around Julio and try and get Mitch Garver out with a good slider uh, because he just it, it's not something that he's necessarily impacted well over the last couple of years, despite his impressive numbers. And despite the fact that he doesn't strike out a whole bunch. I think I'd rather have Cal Raleigh batting third. He's got better splits against right-handed pitching. Um, And he does have a kind of a, a flair for the big moment. But I think over the course of 550 to 600 plate appearances, it, it concerns me a little that the team would be okay with batting a 225 low on base, kind of a three true outcome minus the walks type of guy in Cal Raleigh over someone else that's going to put the put the game in motion which is why which is why I think a a Max Kepler or a, a Anthony Santander someone else needs to be protecting Julio Rodriguez uh 